Now, uh, working from home has given many people a chance to balance their lives a bit better. But according to the charity, working families, more need to be done, especially for women. They suggest more than 40% of women said they felt being a parent or having caring responsibilities held them back from a promotion at work. So what is the landscape like post-COVID? Our reporter, India Grant, has been looking into it. Juggling a family and work is never easy. And for Diana and Kintour, it was something which a few years ago became impossible. Uh, when I had my first son four years ago, um, I had just had a promotion in work and was really enthusiastic about continuing. But the, I was working a 40 hour week and the only option for flexible working was 37 hours over four days. And for me, that wasn't flexible enough. She's on a training course, funded by the Scottish Government through Aberdeenshire Council. It aims to help women set up their own businesses. Feedback to the course suggests one major concern is the struggle to stay in the workplace after having children. We went into this thinking that it was just entrepreneurship, there was a problem that you know, they needed to support there. But actually a lot of them have said that becoming self-employed is the only viable option because the issues around work-life balance are very apparent in the workforce. So, and also many of them have even said that um, they've, had, they've had challenges going back to work. They feel that people look at them differently when returning as a parent. Giving the woman new skills is key. We're looking at the traditional business skills, but I think one of the things that people want most from this is confidence. And it's not, not necessarily personal confidence, but, but confidence that they can organise their lives the way they want to. And I think that's really important. For this organisation in Livingston, giving their staff flexibility was important from the very beginning. I suppose we started thinking about uh, who we wanted to recruit into the organisation, uh, the types of people, and to get the, you know, the broadest possible uh, talent pool, we wanted to make it so we could attract all talent uh, across any sort of sphere of society. And that's really why we sort of had a, a flexible working from day one. The pandemic proved that working from home is possible. Shaping what happens next is down to businesses. Inja Grant, BBC News.